beautiful Monday morning in the city of Lagos. Today is the 28th day in the month of October. Hmm, finally, we would be saying goodbye to October in just a few days. Uh, I know a lot of you have decided to like um, put up that mood of, okay, whatever November brings, we'll take it like that. But hey, don't put that mood because November is going to come with a lot of goodies. So calm down. We still have a few days to round up October. This is Family and Values on Galaxy Television where we are reaching out for the stars. Family and Value is a show where we discuss everything that has to do with family. Your family, my family, everyone in the society belongs to a family. And like we used to say on the show, the mentally derailed person has a family. The one you think is lying down, the miscreants, they all have a family and they came from a family. So we are always here to have our topics discussed. And those controversial topics, you don't want to talk about it. We discuss it here in our little fellowship. So it's going to be another great and exciting educative week, very informative week as we take you through the journey of family and values. Welcome to the show, relax, enjoy. We are streaming on our YouTube, on our website, across our social media platform. Download the Galaxy mobile app so that you can watch us on the go. Yes, you need always keep inside. If you are on Star Times, of course, you can get us on Star Times. Don't worry, very soon we'll read it all. Everywhere you can get us because we are on the go. My name is Princess Joy Ayo Abu. And being a Monday morning business as usual, a lot of management meetings. Today we have decided to go swiftly into today's business without too much of a parazi. But hey, I will give you a little bit of a parazi because I have my beautiful partner <laughs> always here with me. Why, why would I start a week without her? If you look at me, a ton like this, you definitely see her. And today she came with this camp. I know she's tired, but hey, you know now when she's on family and values, everything will definitely go. All right, let's give it up for Mama Gen Z. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. You know when you wake up every morning with the thoughts that um, something wonderful is about to happen in your life, around you, you know, within you, and on you, with you personally, it goes a long way. When you wake up every morning, have the thoughts of wonderful things, um, promising things. Not promising for your man now, promising that God is able to do what he says he'll do, beyond your imagination, above the expectation of man. Believe it, something will surely come. Just believe. That's just it. You don't have to say it, but you just have to believe that something will happen. My name is Olori Adujoki Adujoki David. It's going to be another wonderful week as Joy takes us on this week, all the episodes. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Mm. Thank God for weekends. <laughs> because you go for a weekend and by the time you return, you don't see yourself, you know, glowing. So thank God for life. Thank God for the gift of life. Thank God for everyone. I can see everybody in the studio. I can hear. I can communicate. And I hope you are doing the same thing. So if you are, just say God and thank you. It's just a time to just reflect on that and just imagine what could have happened. But thank God that nothing bad happened. So you are here with us on Family and Values. So yeah. as we ride this boat as together. As we ride this today, boat together today. 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 <laughs> We're talking we'll about the time now to yeah. take about. Do we have any birthday shout outs or anything? Oh, birthday shout out. Happy birthday to everyone celebrating today. We wish How was service best, yesterday? You know, uh, no, you didn't go. You didn't, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, 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 you were not around. Service, but how was your yes, How was your mini I, journey? I had an online service <laughs> because um, I was so tired. I was so exhausted. Mm. I went to Bado and um, how was the, the road? How was Bado? The road to the place, my cousin's place. I had to sleep over. Mm. Not really friendly because mm. of the rain. I mean, it took a while for me. Wow. So the rain really worked. On they really, me. really worked on you. But but me. how is that that route? That whole area. How is it? Uh, it's been a while. You know, I, see, I think I noticed some things. So maybe, maybe because I was losing it. Because mm. anytime I'm, I'm traveling or I'm on a journey, I rather want to sleep. Mm. I don't want any panic. <laughs> any mood. So when I sleep, like that, you will say, you know, when you sleep, let God take over. Let God take over so everything. When I sleep right? like that, I leave everything. In the <laughs> 
It's but the road to battle seems mm. to be better than what it, it used was, to be. Because, be. no, go, you go back, go, go. But and the traffic within, within that smoking. region, how uh, that Ah, yes, it was terrible. Okay, yes, church, from, yes. No, around the evening. I and mean, I've, I've gotten to Lagos by 5 p.m. But before you get to the punch, um, um, that's Kara. Is it after Kara? Yeah. Before that, uh, before you, before you get, you to, get the to the Long Bridge. Okay. From there to that Long Bridge, there was a station vehicle that just suddenly stopped working. Wow. So I was there on that Long Bridge for like two hours plus. That's exhausting. So I got home around 8 p.m. Ha, Omo. I couldn't eat anything. I just ah. tried something <laughs> to drink and just went to bed. All right, okay. Thank God for joining Messi's back to Lagos. Yes, and to everyone that traveled um, for a quick uh, break and you're back, welcome. Mm. One thing I noticed there is no traffic because, of course, it's midterm break. Mm, yes, yeah, so the kids one are week. one week home. Wow. And to us parents, what happened? now. What happened? What happened? What happened? I, I keep on asking. Why one week? Now, in, in my time, it was just two days. days. You do Thursday, Friday, Monday. So you started from last year. They started one Wednesday, then the Lagos, of course one week somehow i feel it's good but the same for parents it's a big one having kids stay at home one week <laughs> one week they will eat more than one that. week they will uh, eat i know what i'm saying that's why i'm shouting snack one week and the food available i'm not saying snack i mean our natural our snacks natural snack goes a long way and fruits i think glory has taught us how to arrange all those things and yeah, pack so, them and keep so this is the know, time it goes to, a long yes, way it does, and it, it helps does. them because it keeps them healthy because mm. they're natural snacks they don't have too much concentration of sugar mm. and all these um, artificial condiments and accessory they put in the other snacks. It, so it's not, it's it, not goes there. it goes way. a long way. Yeah. Okay, no problem. It goes a long way. Like I said, it's a Monday and it's serious business. Let's go on. Our mini feature will be right back because we have a barrister. Are you doing now? She, I, she will sue you. Me, personally, I will call her. She's my party. <laughs> to take us on today's conversation, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. As before you say it was the devil's handiwork, before you take that decision, think of the consequences that come with it. A lot is happening in the society. We hear about this here and there. We hear the words, but what is it all about? We decided this morning to start with this conversation because it has eaten deep into the heart of the society and a lot has been damaged and we are gradually having young children minors that are growing into traumatized adulthood and that's why this conversation is necessary this morning and we have in our midst someone who has passion for this kind of conversation of course you know when you hear the word barrister know that you are ready to face the law <laughs> and today she's going to have this conversation with us so we look at it holistically what does the law have to say about it are the rules are the punishable offenses we are going to have that conversation here on family and values and we have no other you see this is one guest that will come do us shakara run Stay months flying again, and I said, mm, This one you will be here, you know. So, we caught her red handed. <laughs> good <laughs> morning, <laughs> so good to have you back. Especially, hello, everyone. Mm. It's such such a pleasure to be here with so Gloria. With Joy. Always, looking always good. awesome. Last time awesome. we had that was on Zoom. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It's good to have you. Excited like. to be here. Hear yeah, you get it. have this special voice. <laughs> I've been, you know, <laughs> you've been told. You've been told. I've been told. You are very special. Like an imagined okay, Barrister. Now, you said something that when I sent the topic to you, it caught your attention. Before we get to that, we hear people use that word sexual abuse. This person was sexually molested. Now, what is sexual abuse all about? What is it? People hear it, we see it. Yeah. Some people might not, might, some people might just, that was time we're having a conversation and people were just following people just because they don't know the true meaning of certain things. So, what is sexual abuse? Okay. So, sexual abuse is actually a contact that has a sexual connotation that is a, or done to someone, you know, trust on someone, and it accom what accompanies this is the key words there are threat, deception, you know, force, intimidation, and definitely the most crucial is a lack of consent. And that lack of consent, like we say, for an adult, lack of consent. For a child, the lack of consent is implied because half of the time, the child does not even know what it is you want them to engage in. 
So it, it's, it's, it's very wide in the sense that it could be physical, it could be verbal, it could be covert, um, it could be, there's even, it could have ritualistic connotations. Because when we talk of genital mutilation, it's a form of abuse. And mm -hmm. there are, there's a side, you know, there's a ritualistic thing behind it, as in we do this, this is our culture, this is what we do. But it really is an abuse. And, you know, an, a sexual assault is singular. You know, you can be sexually assaulted once. Mm -hmm. But when it's an abuse, it becomes a pattern. We're talking of something happening time and time again. That's when it becomes, that's when we call it sexual abuse. And it could happen, it could happen to men, happen to women it's not as prevalent in, in men as in women when you but say men, men i was <laughs> I, I, yes yes i've, I've had oh, men that yes. have been yes. abused so, seriously i have I've, I've seen a lot of them anyway it can, so. it can. it's still, it's still it working can. against them because some of them find it difficult to get married to people of their own selves you know and it's, it's even difficult for a man to come out mm. and tell you he's been abused yeah. because the male ego thing ego is there thing and is you're like working. people will be like what happened how did this happen and then, of course, we know definitely the one concerning children, which is the one I'm so passionate about. That's the most prevalent because UNICEF says one in four girls mm. yeah. regularly, regularly, every day, every one day. in ten, in ten boys, boys regularly. And it's and it, because it's so close to us, you know, and we're not aware, we're not doing enough. That's, that's really, for me, is the crime behind it. Okay, now, not doing enough, I will come in from there. What role does sex education play? from home, not just in a home, from home. And at what age is sex education coming? We've had situations whereby they will tell you, call them their the names. This is your Twitteries, this is your Regina, you call it, you know, like that. They said it's good so that the child will know when there is any hot or you're trying to bake the child, the child can easily say, okay, mommy, I'm feeling hot here at this particular place, not that you will clone a name for it. So at what age does sex education come in? And what role does it play? Sexual education, what does it play? What role does it play in the home? Okay. Um, sexual education is key. And parents are the first sex educators. Mm. That is the way it should be. But that is not the way it is. Mm. You find that most children learn about sex from school. So we have to give kudos to the schools. That it's part of the curriculum, at least through biology. Mm. <laughs> that you actually learn that this is mm. called mm. Yeah. this, this part is called that, and this is what a child expects at a certain age and all of that. But then the issue of wanting to experiment comes in. Because the child is, everything is so new, so, no, so novel. Mm. But the parents should, as your child growing up, they're touching certain parts. You should be able to tell, you know, it's a uncomfortable you know, conversation, quote and unquote, especially in our part of the world, mm. where, you know, though even the names of the parts <laughs> are, mm. are treated with such okay. reverence. Yeah. But it shouldn't be. A child should know that this is my, you know, and what, uh, can we mention this yeah, part? Well, yes, yes, <laughs> because yes. I don't know. Yeah, we are Yeah, you So we're telling the child, this is your penis. It's a private part. Nobody should touch it. Even, no matter how close. Nobody should touch it. Nobody should tell you to come and show it to them. You know, for a woman, this is your, these are your breasts. These are, you know, we need to tell our girl child about it. As they, they, when they are children, let them get comfortable with these parts. Let them get comfortable with their bodies. Let us tell them what is going on. You have a son that, you know, the masturbation, you, you know that that time has come. You need to have that conversation with him. That you are going to wake up feeling like this. For the, for the women, I'm telling my husband that you need to have this conversation with my son. Yeah. You know, you might be the, the most apt person when I started noticing because we need to be a part of what is going on with our, with our children. The schools will come in, they try, they, they, they tell them the basic because there's, like my son does civic education and I realize some of his notes now, they're talking about all of the sexual issues, you know, how, it's, it's quite detailed and it's quite nice. But don't let that be because that's really from the outside. Let the, let's, you know, inside where they're more comfortable, let them be comfortable to talk about these things. Now, when they, my son says, when they mention it in school, everybody goes, oh, you know, the boys go whistling mm. when they mention it vagina because he still knows them. It shouldn't be. Let's get comfortable having this mm -hmm. seemingly uncomfortable conversations with our children. Okay, yes. let's get comfortable. I want to read out something that's caught my attention over the weekend and it happens everywhere. And a man 
A minor was bleeding previously after she was allegedly defiled by an affair in Ogun State. And um, the man is 19 years, and the, the girl he defiled was about 14 years old. <clears throat> and now this man was arrested, and you know, of course, he's facing persecution as usual. Now that brings me to the part of the law. Every now and then, in fact, while we are still talking on the show, if you go on the internet, you will hear that, oh, one minor has been abused. I read a story one time and I was saying of a 49-year-old that defiled a three-month-old baby. Mm. And the thing that got to my mind was, what did this innocent child do to you? How could you be so callous to even think of such? Now, we've heard stories like that. What is the law? saying about this thing are they punishable offense like you know sometimes you just feel like these people should just be locked let them just throw key, just remain there don't even come out because it's disheartening when you hear and you look at a full man i would tell you it was the devil's handwork i love our many things say before you say it's the devil's handwork think about the action you want to commit so from a barrister's point of view i know this is what your passion are they laws are, can they be punished what are those laws what are those that if, even if i hear and i see i can be able to know that there is a law and pursue it for the sake of the victim okay yes there are laws but there's a lot of ambiguity involved in our laws here in nigeria because of religious connotations huh. and tendencies and all of that so but we have the child rights act which says 18 is the age of consent and that anything you do with a child that is younger than 18 definitely there are going to be repercussions and we're talking of imprisonment up to imprison up to life imprisonment there's two years there's seven years so child rights is there sexual offenses act is also there that so that that is why if you do it you're not going to get caught free and legal state has even taken it to another level with the agency mm. that they set up the domestic violence and sexual you know violence agency that was set up in 2021 so i can guarantee you that people will face the full gamut of the law if they are you know brought to book and investigation is made and they're found to be culpable but we have the northern part of the country the religious angle, <laughs> the mm. child marriage mm. issues that we're still mm. dealing with, you know, and all of that. So that puts it, a, there's a bit of, how do I put it, you know, ambiguity yes. there, where you're like, okay, you see some, like, the penal code has 16 years. It's not as if there's no law in the north against it. The penal code that governs the north says 16, you know, that you shouldn't have that any knowledge of any child that is below 16. So it's, the laws are actually there, and they are quite, you know, you know, ready the, the agencies and the government is ready to put these people to book but the ambiguity is there people can hide here and hide there mm. but i guarantee you that some states have taken firm action lagos has there is no way you can get away with it if you are you know but i think more and more states you know that criminal act that, that you know that child rights act i talked about now there are like 31 states that have subscribed to it which means that there's still like five that say no we don't agree to this 18 years thing that's still a bit uh, you know, for us and all of that. So the laws are there. The criminal code is clear on it. Even our fundamental human rights, the right to dignity, the right to freedom from discrimination, all of those things are available. They are saying that nobody should do anything to you, you know, that you don't want, that against your will, that you don't give consent for. So it's really, the, the laws are there, but we find a lot of people are not aware of the law. A lot of people are reluctant to pursue legal redress because of all of the societal Society. issues around it, the embarrassment, the shame, and the law. And then, of course, our legal system that we have to get a lawyer, or what would they say there, you know, and, and all of that. But I tell you that if it happens, it is not the time to be silent. The more, the more silent you are, the more these perpetrators are going to, you know, do more to other people. So you might, you that it happens to might just be that person that will stop the next person from being sexually exploited. Mm -hmm. So there are laws. Yes, there are there laws. Are. And you might just yeah. be the next person yes. that stop yes. the other person. Yes, there are. All right, let's go on a word of marble and possibly our vox. But when we return, we still have the conversation on sexual abuse with our guest in the studio. Don't get anywhere. We'll be right back.
Okay. I'm interested as there's no one way to say the punishment for sexual abuse. It's just that some people don't really consider the chain effects, the chain like effects of what they do. I can't really say say that there should be a punishment for obviously there should be punishment for imprisonment and everything. But in the end it does it does nothing to soothe the victims circumstance the only thing i can pray the only thing i can say is that everybody around put a hand to help such a victim to get out of that situation to get out of that trauma that the person has gone through there's not really a punishment for it it's, it's not about the punishment it's about the recovery so that's what i should just say okay for sexual abuse i haven't thought about it before but just off the top of my head, I just think that it's a crazy crime, right? And then it requires the appropriate point. So for me, I would say 50 years of jail time, right? You, you got to do that time. So you have to know the consequences of what they did. And it shouldn't be just any consequence, but it should be very detrimental to the amount of crime because it's crazy. So I think 50 years jail time is decent. Yeah. The, the question far, so you understand, because I don't really have any experience about it. But sexual abuse is something that is very, very bad. Do you understand? It's very bad. So, what I think that the government can do, so in case if anybody is a, the, uh, what do they call it? If anybody is a, they do it, if anybody do it, what that they can do is that they should just sentence the person to prison. Because if they start, they should. Uh, give the person a uh, bill uh, bill ta- uh, time so the person will still come back and have the power to still do it do you understand so they should just sentence the person to life in prison because it's, it's very bad it's not good because me too i'm going to have a baby so if i have a girl someone should not be harassing her i would not take it so that's my own point of uh, view i think they should be jailed like a few years imprisonment maybe pay some damages to the person uh Maybe go to pain or something. Okay, welcome back. Now that was our mini feature. Uh, sorry, our word of Mabu, and then the Vox Pop from our viewers. Somewhere saying 50 years in prison. Mm. Somebody said, so they should not even come out. That when they come out, they'll still come and commit the same crime. Okay. Well, we heard that from, I guess, that we, from we allow Lori coming with her question. Okay, um, Marissa, I want to find out, how can we secure a safe and secure environment for minors and also to generally to everyone to save us from these elephants in the room and we always want to take advantage? How okay. can we do this? Okay, thanks for that question, Lori. Um, for me, we have to be our brother's keeper. It's so crucial that that community life that is, in, you know, special and unique to us as Africans, which we have been doing away with now because of civilization and the my own business syndrome and, oh, I see it, it's not my business, I don't want. Mm. we need to bring that back. Because these abuses happen in various communities. Somebody see something. Somebody notices one child entering one person's room all the time. And, sees nobody, this saying and nobody is saying anything. Because uh, maybe the uncle and the aunties will, will say what yes. I'm looking for. Yes, but need to just show care and risk. You know, at times for me, it's better I risk you being angry with me mm. and saying I want to them not you know, living with mm. my conscience of not telling you the truth. And then we need to listen. As parents, we, re- we don't listen. It's a major problem for us. Our lives are busy. I understand. But we should know that these children are words mm. given to us by God to care for. So we need to make the time to listen to our children and then believe our children. We've had children who even tell their parents that they don't believe them. I don't know how that works. Hmm. Why you would believe somebody else, even if it's your brother or your or your uncle, or why do you believe that person over your child when that child tells you that that person has touched them inappropriately or done something? It's worthy of you at least looking into, looking it, into it, you know. And then of course we still have the idea of uh, let me speak about Amabebije. 
you by saying that don't let us spoil family mm. well, are you choosing family oh, over your child, your child. Do you, your do, child. are you thinking of <laughs> the issues that arise from child abuse i can tell you that they mar a child for life is the, the sex some mm. going to sexual dysfunction some cannot get married some have post-traumatic stress disorder some actually you know, it just affects them in so many ways they malfunction and at times it takes the grace of god for even a child that grows into an adult who has been abused to conquer it and not even pass it on even in their own new family life the re-victimization happens a lot you're a victim you turn into a perpetrator mm. all of that also happens so we, as you know we all it's all hands on deck let us listen and let us not be afraid to seek help let us not say because of shame embarrassment or rather or let it just go let's sweep it under the dust no for a child at least that knows that the person that did this to me is behind bars that in itself is a salve in their conscience that this person did not get away with it the children have been threatened every day coerced every day intimidated you know and they, they can't help themselves we are the ones as parents as guardians who can do something and a lot of us are not doing anything now i, I sorry be, be, before i forget like you said some parents will still see it as i can't believe it no 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 uh, no it just i said happened. no it shut up it didn't happen you can't shut your mouth i don't want to hear it again what your such a child do uh, even I, I, if your mother is not believing you yes. your father is saying no it can happen and you have this elephant in the room that is threatening your life and making it looking co coerced that if you dare talk he, he or she is taking you know someone in that courage yeah. to talk to yeah. say something yeah. i see i am a victim and i'm coming up for my mother my father every my loved ones yeah. are not believing me what should such what should be the next step to encourage because we have them yes we do they're out there we every do. day like i said uh, in ikiti i think it's a kitty state recently uh, 70 70 plus mm -hmm. year old man was sentenced and to a 10 year old now you ask yourself 70 years how many years, years is left for you I to, also had one to is it, ah. video sent to me some time ago during the i think the answers or i think 2020 and my dear my dear my dear there was no way they could save that child <sighs> a baby abused and turned but you're not the one saying something about your child that was yes and, that, and, and then the left the scissors and in and, and then they had to put the what, scissors how, and how for people who have not gotten to that before you you know continue in yes. this bizarre yes. way of treating this yes. victims you know yes. their praise anyhow yeah what should such a person do my father my mother yes. my sister the person i'm living with my aunt my guardian is not believing me that the husband is yes. touching me or I, i'm not even yes. i'm even afraid to tell her because yes. she's not believing even women have she, parents as a defining person, their own oh, yes. kids too oh, yes. as a lot of oh, because yes. uh, we, we have heard situations whereby after rape um for they have this way oh. you do all those the carry out those tests Just 24 hours alone. they can still trace it yes. they can but because when you're saying nigeria, leave the evidence how do you, you know in nigeria they have this way ah. that they will tell you that okay that um it, it, we cannot do any test again mm. you have washed yourself yes yeah yes. but over there why can they do it over there mm. with technology what should one do please just like said for the for the babies well god help us somebody has to hear something or see something hmm. because the baby cannot speak for themselves <laughs> for the very very younger ones but for the ones that are a bit older and they've you know maybe talk to a father talk to him or even the father or the mother is the perpetrator hmm. they need to find a trusted person could be teacher could be a neighbor could hmm. be a friend Check could be an aunt somebody yeah. eh, that's how you find you know we all have them i have some people some young people you know that come to me they're like you know sis 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 you find that children always have somebody yeah, like that who, who is on the uh, thank you they need to find that person and say this is what is going on of course at times it puts that person in a difficult situation mm. because you can imagine me going to, going house to somebody's house and your child say said your child and said. the person probably walks me out to the door and say are you okay is it your child mm. how is this a business of yours and everything but they still need to try and then thank god for Lagos state and this 
agency that they have set, set up. You know, you have, they have lines. And I know from experience, it actually even happens to a friend who was having an abusive relationship with her husband. And she, edu I'm talking of educated, everything, everything. She was helpless because the husband didn't want her to leave. And the abuse was persistent in front of her children. But she resorted to the agency. And I can tell you that they came. And she was able to leave him. You know, so it does work. You okay, know, now, it does work. You know, um, while we were talking, yes. we were talking about um, community parenting and the fear of parents. I belong to those people that that class that I don't, I don't want to hear stories. Now, because from a personal experience, we grew up with over a number of people. Mm -hmm. And it was just God that saved me from being abused. Mm -hmm. Because the evidence, the traces were there. Mm -hmm. And the first time I spoke, nobody wanted to believe me. <sighs> so since then, I had to protect my own self, protect my space. Now, just like Olori was saying, you tell your parents they don't want to believe you. And then, for some, because they are helpless, and then this abuse continues. And they grew up traumatized. They become traumatized adults and they want to vent the same anger. You see, it takes a lot mm -hmm. of people to come out and say, you see, it is now in this generation we are speaking out. The past generations, what mm -hmm. we are having now are abusive adults, yeah. traumatized adults who have yes. given birth to a speaking generation. Yes. And so we can relate if, if your child walks up to you and say, this thing is happening. But when we grew up, no, you dare not. <laughs> you don't speak. So you're dying in there. And then you have traumatized adults. A lot of them have not found their way around to heal. Yes. Now, most of the men, just like you said, now put that energy and focus on the women and now start acting yes. that terrible. Because so some of them, I, I feel like it's do me, I do you case. Like I yes. was, this thing happened to me. So you yes. to experience what it is, yes. you know. Now, how do we help such adults who are traumatized, who have, who are having the experience, and they are feeling like, no, I can't feel this pain again. I have to push it to, and you're damaging a younger generation. Mm -hmm. How That's do we? Them, you know, you're, them you're, them you're, you're traumatized. You're, you're raping a three year, a two year, a, a two. The when I was when when I was uh, for until I am um, I was in an section and I was hearing a story of a six months old that was raped and her womb was shifted. shifted and she was in fact that that lady that baby died because I followed the story and it touched my mind and I was like how you see when I say punishment I'm not talking about see they should not even come just they play the government I think when we start giving proper punishment and we are seeing it not the one they'll say they've sentenced and they are still giving you food oh. no food they maybe castrate you or something you know <laughs> but for those traumatized adults how do we help, help them, them so that they don't pass it, it to it the it next really generation it's, it's so yes yes the truth of the matter is a lot of a lot of us i say us because it could be you mm. it could be me it could be you yeah. we're just not spoken mm. out a lot of us need help mm. because we have that trauma and it's very deep yeah, and we need to bring yeah. it to the fore sometimes it's as mm. healing comes with as little as sharing mm. with someone that mm. i went through this yeah. and you know that person saying what how did that happen to you a, a conversation mm. that's where healing well, starts from way. of course definitely the spiritual language is there because when you can talk to God, when you can bring that person who did you harm before God and actually forgive them for what they've done, your healing also comes through that. And then for some, it might, it might actually have had to go to therapy. You know, when they say therapy, you always believe it's good. But therapy is, what is therapy? Therapy is you talking to someone about these things. A professional is able to ask questions and say, how did this affect you? Sometimes that thing affected you and you have not been able to even say it out that this is what this person did to me. This is how it affected me. This is, so that's what therapy is basically. Somebody who is a professional asking you the right questions and helping you navigate and bring that person to the fore and forgive that person and letting you know that if you do not put the past in the past is going to keep affecting your future mm -hmm. and mess it up. So we need to seek help we, because of ourselves and we need to make a choice. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes it can come out of overprotectiveness. Mm -hmm. For those, who, somebody who has a yeah. little child of this can actually be overprotective with my children mm -hmm. and say, I don't go 
What happened to me can, can never, never, as far as can I'm concerned, never. that one is a positive, is a positive. thing. I can say, well, fly, cannot <laughs> touch them, fast. not on my watch. <laughs> not on my watch. Of course, the children could perceive it as, but they don't know where you're coming from. They don't know where you're coming from. You know, because so when you, you share it with them, yes. it goes a long way. Yes, it does. It's it's all about but coming out to talk. The children of now are there, they'll tell you, mommy, don't worry. I'll be okay. No, we need to come to that reality. We need to that reality, yeah. and that's what I'm asking. This. Sometimes our children are so confident of themselves, mm. they believe so much in themselves that, Mom, did you went through this? Mm. I tell you, I'm promising you right now, I am not going to allow it. Nobody will dare touch me. And if anything like this, oh God, I said, my, my, my daughter got to a stage, I was like, God, this girl don't come to fun. <laughs> get married mm. because i don't need to tell her after you know knowing this and everything she just changed many things around her mm. i don't have to but you know it got to a stage that when she says mommy this is what i am going to do i'm like yeah this one it's empowerment you, you need to empower your it's children. empowerment you, you need know, to empower and them strength. with knowledge so yes yes themselves. with confidence and they stand by it but even the Bible says, <laughs> <laughs> even the that stand, that stand take the key. Yes, yes, if we fall. That's even when they're not planning it, from secondary school, mm. yeah. primary school students who mm. we'll plan for their four female students yeah. and take them because they have been exposed. Yes, yeah. we have a lot of and them. So take them for parties. Not plan. Yeah. Take them for parties and drugs. Who they are saying they are very innocent. Yeah. Ah. No, we're coming to reality now. Yeah. They are so innocent and that you know, before you know it, they will plan either sip something in there. Oh, somebody yeah. pays them and little now, change. Take them, you know, oh, yeah. know what to do. You know? Yeah. So ah. take it, let's see for yeah. how do we I know you've handled situations like yeah. this one way or the other because yeah. you're a barrister at law. Yeah. And you know the law. Yeah. Help us. What should such students, children do? I have had, I have seen, I have come through cases like this have come before me. Primary school students in primary five, primary six who set up the fellow students, oh, take them to places they never wanted to be. They are raped, abused, assaulted, and before you know it, they can't even remember. Yeah. And now, what happens to those children who manipulated and tried to bring this girl to reality according to the law? What happens to them? Want to know that. Then what happened to those people who also engaged them to do things like this? Okay. Um, you see, for the for children, you know, young adults, adolescents, we talked about empowerment. We need to empower them. And then we need to let them be wise. A lot of our <laughs> girls and boys are not wise mm. money I, your movements need to be pure mm. quote and quote. don't don't let somebody woo you and say let's go to mm. one party come and meet me after class in one place open spaces that is the law be in open spaces where people always are even up till now that i have children in their 20s i'm telling them that where you are going out Take your friend. Yeah. Open yeah, that that up to you. Take your friend. That is, uh, friend. That is, uh, there is a no. case now. There is a case in Delta of a girl that left, I think 20 years, that left her home to go see a man she met on a dating site and her cops. I saw it. So left it, somewhere. It, it, have been right. left somewhere. I mean, oh. and I'm wondering, she, she never why, gone on that why would you, mm -hmm. you meet somebody online yeah. and on a dating so app for crying out loud? Let, take it. Take because it. you have because to. It's yeah, only why. But, but, but as the rounding up, concerning what Olori just asked, yeah. those people that co host that gang up, oh. being what? your innocence, they ah. now, and you know, we have some mis in school that they, they know that this particular girl will say yes. no. Then they will now use yes. your best friend to who you are. Ah, what, you. I mean, what punishment? The, the law is there. Those, who, even if they are young, they are remand homes. Ah. They are punishment for young people. They are juvenile homes where they will be remanded and they will be made to pay. But the key there is that victim must report and report timelessly. Because that, if they, if anything you have to do with the law has to do with the evidence. No, that, that's, that's the, the thing. Greatest you know, that's problem. why sometimes it's, yeah, it's, it's evidence. So, 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 so,
is our juvenile this so even with those children if that child now is able to go report to a teacher and the teacher knows the right thing to do immediately reports to the authorities that child is examined you need mm -hmm. to be examined ha. because that's where the evidence is the medical examination you cannot avoid it because that's what you're going to tender otherwise because if if nothing was recorded if somebody had something where the child was saying no 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 or they were here you know that's to show there's no consent because the the most easiest plea when it comes to her, is, ah, she said she wanted it. It's ah, my friend. It's my girlfriend. Ah, yeah. we, were all we were all drinking. It is not today. We hey. are going out. So hey. all, this is what we do hmm. recreationally. You know? right. But if there is a way, maybe a witness now that was there, that is ready to speak up, because we have friends who also betray friends. Mm. So that friend saying, I was there. She kept saying no. They, they, they gagged her. They, you know? Those are all the things that will be used to bring those children to board. Because if you are old enough to go and do something with somebody, you'll be old enough to face the music. To so face the music. It's just, that's just the way it is. Thank you so oh, much. Thank it's you so much. Time. It's good to have you yeah. always. And always. we're so glad always. that we can come to the end of today's show. Thank My name so is Tumin Olorate Jokhati Davis. I wish you the very best of today. Like I said, when you wake up in the morning, please have a positive and a wonderful talk. Now, things, is good. things are going to work well for you. Have a great day ahead. Bye for now from myself. Okay, so while we round up the show this morning, I want you to realize that kids are kids. No matter how grown they are, we have children that are growing into adulthood fast enough. Please don't look at their physical appearance. Look at the tenderness in. Don't don't get attracted to any child. I'm begging you, so that you will not say it is the devil's handiwork. Because if you're caught, my dear, <laughs> you would definitely go in for it. So please, child abuse, sexual abuse of any kind should be avoided. As we are approaching the festive period, please don't use drink as a tool to indulge in sexual abuse. Okay, tomorrow we will be discussing foster parenting. And this is also a follow-up on today's conversation because we are still going to bring in a bit of today's conversation into it. Join us and don't go anywhere. Tomorrow we'll be having foster parenting as our topic on the show. All right, thank you for being a part of the show this morning. We really appreciate it to all our crew that is starting the week with us. We are saying thank you, Johnson, and to our lovely, beautiful guest. And thank you for doing just this thank little you. topic. Thank we you love you. you. And my name still remains as Joy. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs>